Hello everyone and welcome back to another first hour with, and this time, we are looking at Doom 1993 edition. And the reason for that is of course Doom Eternal is coming out very soon. And I thought, let's do a themed sort of series of these. And I think I'm going to do Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3, and Doom 2016 before Doom Eternal comes out. So I hope you're in the mood for some Doom. I'm going to get straight into the first episode on the medium difficulty and let's listen to this music. I could just... yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the first time I've played Doom 1993. Um, obviously not. I was born in 83 and basically grew up on Doom. I love Doom. I've played it on everything. I pretty much have these early levels memorized. However, this is the new version on Xbox One that I'm playing here. And uh, it's recently been um, ported and um, updated by Bethesda. The now controllers of Doom, and it now has sort of like limited mod support. Though I'm not doing that, I'm doing the OG levels. Um, gotta be done, gotta be done. Uh, it's got Sigil in there though now, so that's the Romero extra level that only came out uh, last year. I need to play that. But I'm currently... It's just. So I'm a massive fan of Doom, guys. Yeah, uh, Doom 2016 was definitely my game of that year. Forget saying, aren't I? There's secrets on this on this level, definitely. Try and remember. Oh yeah, over here. Shotgun, baby. Nothing says doom more than the boomstick. Um, I think I'm. Possibly, yeah. I'm I'm confusing the first level of Doom with the first level of Doom Two, which has got more of a secret on that uh, in that area. I don't have Sprint on by default, so I'm activating it. There is that switch. What's he gonna do? Is he doing? I can't remember, and I'm not gonna look up a FAQ just for this. Should be on my memory only, really. And there's nothing. There's nothing obvious. I know that switch does something. I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Sue me. I kind of just want to listen to the music, really. And so I think in this hour, I'm hopefully going to get the first. Ah, there we go. That was it. I knew there was something. Yeah, so I've got a slightly new setup here today, hence the headphones. Um, I'm playing around with the best ways of doing this videos. Still a bit of a novice to this type of production. Doom it. Not the best stats, but I think I think we should get through this whole first episode. Hopefully, relatively unscathed. I literally never get bored of playing these games. Never. And uh, being able to play them again now on Xbox One, rather than just backwards compatible 360 versions, is really cool. There's new achievements, so I always enjoy getting those. Oh, we've got the boomstick baby, but let's pick up some ammo. Okay, 
interesting. I'm trying to think of what platforms I've played this on over the years. Multiple PCs and laptops. I played it on my uh, SNES. SNES might have been the first place I played Doom, actually. Now I think about it. The SNES port. I'm not sure. I remember playing it on PC when it was a whole bunch of floppy disks. I remember installing it on my school's computers because computers were really kind of like uh, new then, especially in the UK. And uh, even the teachers teaching IT didn't really know what they were talking about. So I was able to take advantage of that and get Doom with a friend of mine installed across um, all, pretty much, the school's computers in secondary school. That would have been uh, mid-90s, now I think about it. I think my first exposure to an id game was Wolfenstein 3D um, around a friend's house uh, and his older brother had it on their PC and he'd modded it um, with let's say female genitalia all over the walls which was weird not gonna lie um, but I remember playing Wolf 3D I, th I think I played Wolfenstein 3D more after playing this for the first time. Yeah, now I think about it, I was probably most into that SNES version when I was a little kid. Just because I had that at home. I'm really looking forward to with Doom Eternal actually, uh, the port of Doom 64. I've never played Doom 64, so I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, this is all uh, kind of getting us excited for... Hold up, sorry, I'm trying to do this, I'm moving. Yeah, getting us excited for Doom Eternal, which is coming really soon. Um, let me just point out, this isn't like paid promotion. I haven't been contacted by Bethesda or anything to do this. It's just, it's the season of Doom, and I will always, 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 always love Doom. How do I get that chainsaw? I can't remember how to get that chainsaw. Um... God, just everything about this game. Level design, as I've got older, I've really appreciated how good these levels are more and more. It's just, you know, it's so basic. There's, uh, If you don't know, and frankly, how do you not know, but you can't look up and down in Doom and Doom 2. Um, it's just not possible. So you only have left and right, which, which makes it... A very kinetic experience and obviously the levels are designed with that in mind so because you can't look around in a 3d plane up and down uh, it really affects how the game is being constructed I'm just, gonna, uh, die. I'm just gonna get through this like I said I want to beat this first episode doing all right so far now, I believe these ports have cheat modes kind of like built in. Obviously, I'm not playing with anything. I'm just playing on the medium difficulty here. Um, nothing else switched on, really. I have it in the slightly stretched perspective rather than the original. Um, I think that looks fine, though. It's done quite well. Yeah, there's weapon switching on the shoulder buttons, which is fine. Generally, though, I just kind of want my shotgun for everything forever. It is the best goddamn video game shotgun. I mean, the Doom 2016 shotguns are incredible as well. And the Halo shotgun comes to mind, but this will always be a special shotgun. Look at that animation. Look at that reload. How he cocks it between each shot. It's so good. I mean, there's been some criticism of... Um, how much character we're now getting from Doom Guy in Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Uh, obviously, Doom Guy was basically this low level animation face that you can see at the bottom of the screen. He didn't really have much story, and the storytelling in the Doom games was predominantly told um, just sort of via, your, via contextual level design. There's no real text telling you anything. I believe there's like a there's a thing at the end of each level. That's about it. It's pretty minimal. But in many ways, you didn't need any more, you know? You were a space marine. You were fighting demon alien creatures. See, this is what I mean. You can't look up and down. 
<laughs> so you just sort of point at them and hope that eventually it will shoot him. There we go. Got him. Way too much ammo used there. I noticed the green cross. Ow, ow, ow. Um, green cross health packs because they can't have the red cross anymore. Because uh, I believe the red cross took issue to that. Looky. Oh, shit, shit, nips. Let's uh, kite these bastards. I like the lighting in this. It's very, very dark. Uh, I don't think this is set incorrectly. Did I get everyone? Nope. <laughs> shit. Um, see, this is, this is what I mean by the level design. The use of darkness there to really obfuscate what you can see. There's one of those green health packs I was talking about. Let's get that switch. Bring up the thing. There's another health pack. I don't need it. Um, get back to find the blue door. Oh, oh. oh, it's a room full of dudes. I love how they shoot each other by mistake. It's such a lovely touch, isn't it? So well done. Yeah, so my plan is to do Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, and Doom 2016. Um, we'll see how it goes. If if you guys aren't feeling it, let me know. Um, I can't... Pr I mean, it's going to be difficult because I was actually playing Doom 3 not long ago. Um, I'll happily restart it for the sake of this feature, but in um, for the sake of transparency, it won't be my first attempt uh, because I picked it up when it got ported with these two to the Xbox um, for the first time. It's actually quite hard to find Doom 3 BFG edition, which was back compatible. Uh, so I never actually played that since playing on the PC. I don't think I ever beat Doom 3. Much to my um, oh, hello card. Much to my eternal shame. I might, have done, I might have done it on PC. I really can't remember. It's a good port though. It's a good port. Runs really well. These run really well now, especially since there's been some patching. Uh, I know initially there were some criticisms. I can't remember what, but I know the fan base wasn't too happy with them. So I actually waited before picking them up. I also bought them on Switch, just because uh, you literally can't have Doom on enough platforms. It's it's kind of like the the ever game like um, Skyrim has become, but predates that obviously. Doom has to be poured to everything, and I just never get bored of playing these levels. Look how good this level is! Look at the design! Look at the architecture! While I dodge these fireballs and shotguns. But just the way the barrels are positioned, the enemy makeups, the level of challenge, balance, it's just it's just pretty much perfect level design. It really is the pinnacle of that era at the same time as completely revolutionizing how games were played. I mean the first person shooter, Wolf 3D came first, but this was really the game that defined the genre created it for the longest time for the longest time um, shooters after uh, Doom were called Doom clones kind of like how we have Souls likes now um, because there's not a better way of defining that genre um, so first person shooter didn't come around to a lot later couldn't tell you what game exactly coined it um, but yeah they were called Doom clones because everybody wanted some of this It's a MIDI fucking soundtrack. It's so basic. You know, compare it to what Mick Gordon's done with 2016 and Eternal with the heavy metal riffs. Really inspired by the feel that you get from this these games, from the Doom games early on. But obviously with a much higher fidelity. But he, they do so much with so little, you know. Carmack and Romero were true... Uh, and everybody ate it in that era. Uh, and honestly, ah, minigun. I'm going to save that for later, though. Um, always good for helping out with things like cacodemons, from what I remember. Um, but yeah, everybody in this era were true trailblazers. And if you want to know more about it, 
I can't recommend the Masters of Doom book enough. I have read that book multiple times. I've also listened to the audio book version, which is also very, very good, uh, unabridged and very well read. Um, it, it's a truly fascinating story, what the guys did it to create Doom. And it's great to see now, some people would say Doom 3 was a bit of a, a misfire, but what what Hugo Martin and the other guys at id in this new generation of developers at Bethesda, what they've done with Doom 2016 and, and the way Doom Eternal is starting to look, well, I, th I think it is the true spiritual successor to what was established here in Doom. I love playing Doom as well because I can like hold a conversation because so much of this is muscle memory. Um, I've played these levels probably do dozens if not hundreds of times. Uh, probably not hundreds because I don't remember all the secrets are. It's been a few years since I lasted a run through. But um, that's kind of the beauty of the way that it's designed as well because you can replay it and obviously depending on difficulty you get different amounts of enemy spawns. Um, but like the, the oh, that was a good shot. But the beauty is that unless you have a guide or you just have that kind of quality memory, which I do not have, you really even even on replays it's difficult to remember where the secrets are on certain levels because they are these labyrinthian, as you can see, um, tunnels and areas that make it quite difficult to get your bearing. It all adds to that experience of a marine just trying to make his way through and out the other side, you know, fighting these creatures. It's very much a survival game. It's not just a shooter, it's about managing your resources and doing everything you can to uh, maximize, you know, your ammunition and, you know, really, you have to deal with enemies in different ways. And there's a lot of thought uh, that actually goes into playing a bit of Doom. Uh, obviously, 2016 and Eternal have really doubled down on that and really pushing that combat puzzle forwards. But you see it here. You see it in the DNA of Doom 93. It is, it is there. I also highly recommend, and by that I mean not really, the incredible Doom novels. As a Doom mega fan, I have all of those paperbacks as well. Um, I think there's four. The first one is moderately worth reading. The later ones, not so much. I can't remember what, who was Polygon or Eurogamer. Somebody like that did a uh, like look back at those novels recently. I read, and uh, it was quite a fair takedown of the insanity that you get from them. Found the exit there, but I'm not done exploring, people. Oh Ben, come on, how do I whiff those shots? Terrible. Oh, it's too bad. Could be worse. So those rockets? I don't actually. Yeah, rockets, but I don't have a rocket launcher yet. That probably means there's one on this level somewhere that I'm not aware of. Dun, dun, dun. Just listen to this music. I actually do have um, a soundtrack. Sometimes I do just listen to the MIDI. It was a, a longer level than the previous ones. Getting into it now, really. Yeah, let's uh, get the old minigun out. Maybe not. What have we got? What have we got? Crossfire there. Ooh, there we go. First one of the. I think they've got their own name, but I can't remember what they are. But the invisible pinkies. Atmospheric um, audio where you know there are monsters nearby but you don't know where they are. Just growling in the distance. I'm not sure if there's um, a particular monster that that particular growl is meant to be associated with. I think it's the pink.
See what I mean? I just love the shotgun. Everything about it. I, I feel like I always, when I replay Doom, I replay the first few levels. So I'm getting into that point now where these levels are not as familiar for me. There you go. Thanks. Got him. Oop. Crossfire here. Imps on both sides of me. I mean, I could have played these on like Nightmare, really challenged myself, and you could have watched me. Oh, oh look at them! That was a fight in each other. Love it. Love it when that happens. That was intense. Oh, can shot me back. Quite a lot of dudes around here. Should we go up there? Stop shooting me! Oh, my found a secret. Oh, teleporter. I think that's invisibility. I do not have a blue key card though. Oh, I forgot to pick the power up. Oh, back here. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Wood. Come on. Where are you coming from? I must have opened something. Let's see if there's something up on this one. soldiers are you think they're gonna die quite easily but if they get a couple of good shots on you they really do eat away at your health what have we got here okay switch pillars came down I don't remember this bit <laughs> like at all right I've got to do something with this switch Get on a pillar? What should we do? Yeah. Now, I can't look up. I'm not sure if there's a ceiling here, but I will get that armor. All right, there looks like there's holes above there. We've got on this side. Ammo. Yeah, the jumping in this game is weird because there's no jump button. You kind of have to time your sprint. portrait of my guy down there with his <laughs> weird bulging eyes. Oops. Got impatient. Just hanging out by this barrel. Just chilling. What's going on here? Why can't I? Okay. Switch is being kind of awkward. There's a hole above that one. Fingers crossed there's a hole above this one. There is. Anything? Mm. Oh, switch. Mm. Hmm, where to go? See, this is this is quintessential doom. You think you know a level and you forget one little thing and you end up kind of trying to work it all out. Itchy nose. Right, I'm invisible right now, but that's not that helpful because I don't have any enemies to fight. Oh, there's enemies in here. 
Can't get through there. But there are some enemies there. I don't remember where to go. Not gonna lie to you guys. Ah. Is this yes. I remember the fight in there. They didn't see me. Good. Here we go, here we go. Shoot that back. It's quite hard to miss with a shotgun, yet I've Find ways. Oh, some dudes in here. Oh, Fireball to the back there. <laughs> Stick down here, isn't it? In these tunnels. It's quite easy to dodge a fireball, though, to be honest. They're slow moving. You usually get a good amount of warning. Blue key card. Trepidatious there, so I was expecting more enemies. Switch. Can't say I know what that did. Oh, it's all right there. Oh, dropped him. Ooh. That's seizure inducing. God, this is very disconcerting and, and somewhat bewildering. <laughs> I caught myself with that barrel. I want to sh Come on! <laughs> yeah, this is really hard to work out what's going on. Wow, that was lucky. Ooh, down to 36 health. Not not the best. Yeah, let's just let's just get out of here. Hmm. That was quite challenging that one. Let's get some of that health going. Shoot me. Yeah, not fair, is it? Cracking tune here. It's funny, I've got the new games and stuff that are coming out in a minute. I'm uh, currently looking at a Hunt Showdown, but uh, I, I'd much rather do this. <laughs> Just demon, demon murder in here. It's always the best bit when you first start a level, isn't it? Because you haven't got to that point where you're stuck. You usually get stuck on a doom level. You have to work out where to go and what puzzles to do and stuff. But um, early on, you just wreck it. Just murking demons. That's a lot of barrels in there. A lot, a lot of barrels. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go into the middle of that. <laughs> Red kick. Oh, 
shoot a guest. Let's get back a bit. Yeah, minigun time. Mowing him down. It's just so indiscriminate. I think they're fighting each other over there as well. There, just after telling you how easy it was to dodge them. Where am I getting shot from? See, that's shotgun guys are dangerous. You do have to be careful with them. Have a red key? Yeah. <laughs> those sound effects. When you kill them. There's a blue key coming. Trying to get me in my in my rears. In my six. Some of those health packs. Keeping on the time, we're about halfway through. I'm on good track, I think, to complete this episode. It's not going quite as easily as I thought it would. Looks like a yellow door up there. Can't get through that, it's the one key card I don't have. Oh, hello. I think demons are weird. They, they, they are scary because they rush you, but they don't really hurt you unless you really leave them for a while. Don't bite you. I'm trying to think what the most dangerous enemies are. It's just when there's a lot of them. It's probably imps and shotgun guys. It's the ranged dudes more than the um, melee guys. This feels very much like a maze, this level. Similar looking rooms and millions of paths. Could be here a while, guys. Switch. Always flick the switch. What it does, nobody knows. Generally, if you find enemies, it's a good sign because it means you've not been there. I do wander around a bit, but... Not really sure where to go here, guys. Let's look at the map. One of the weirdest game maps you'll ever see. Just 2D lines. Not the most readable. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually a map. Pick up. What does that tell me? Not a lot. <laughs> oh, that might be what the switch opened, I think. Yellow key card. Oh, and a backpack. That's always good. Means I've got more ammo and I can carry more. Oh, oh hello. It's a party. Probably didn't need to use this, but I've got it, so why not? Ooh, rocket for the rocket launcher I still don't have. Getting somewhere now. We've got all the keys. On my left, a yellow door. 
Ah, uh, okay, that was that one from we came up to. I've got another way in here. Yeah, I can look at. Yeah, let's back into that room. Let's go about this way. Yeah, let's do it. So, probably a good sign. That noise is so good. intense level. I really like the design. There's a good flow to it. You can kind of quite easily work out where you've got to go. What you've got to do. A little uh, disagreement, shall we say? A switch in there. A lot of shot hands. Oh boy. Oh, it's it's on, and that door closed, so I've got nowhere to go. Let's get out of the guns. That'll come in handy for the next level. See, that's one of the cool things, isn't it, about Doom? Is that there is like a, a continuity between the levels. So you do, it doesn't feel like, you know, you start from zero at each new level. You, you do carry over your health and your ammo and stuff. So it does matter. Right, final level of the episode. Not going well. As starts to levels go, I'm getting pretty messed up here. Barrels are your friend until they're not, and they can. A lot of shit going on in this level. Oh, you can hear a lot of our fighting already. keep going on about it but it's such a part of Doom and they really got that with 2016 by getting Mick Gordon involved to make that incredible shredding rip and tear of an album oh, it's so good right, so that's where I came from oh, ran straight into that fireball Could definitely a dumb one okay, where am I getting hit from now Yellow car. The enemies just keep coming out of everywhere in this one. See, that's some decent dodging of that in this ball. Yellow door. Progress. See, oh, I got me some rockets, Barber. 
You've got to be really careful with a rocket launcher in this game, though. The splash damage is a bitch. It will kill you, and has killed me many, 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 many times. Yep, just trying to work out where to go, not gonna lie. In a typical Doom fashion, I'm pretty lost. You just have to keep kind of wandering around, opening doors and hoping, 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 hoping you open the door you're, <laughs> you've not been through before. Uh, this is quite a confusing level design. There's a lot of like, Similar runes. Um, oh, blue door. Don't have the key. Ah, enemies. Good sign. Oh, more enemies. Dead enemies. Right, that was totally worth the journey. You guys enjoying this little trip down memory lane? Another box of rockets. I must have a lot of that. See, that's the trick, though. It wants you to use them and kill yourself. Like, if you use rockets in here, you'd be just fucked. I'll stick to my shotgun for now. Surprisingly good range on it. explain why the demons fight each other and don't get on and stuff. They do a lot of weird attempts at like retconning things to make sense in a game that was clearly never designed with a narrative in mind. I mean, there's a little bit of narrative in this, but it's definitely like an afterthought. I do recommend reading them though, they are Hilariously strange. A red key. I don't think I've seen a red door, but okay. Progress! That's what we want. Oh, monster closet. People sometimes complain about the monster closets in Doom 3 because basically they just teleport monsters in behind you. Um, whereas in this, they are in actual rooms. Like, they don't teleport them in. Well, until. They do in Doom 2, I think there are actually enemies that use teleporters, but in this they're like in actual sealed off little rooms that open up based on say collecting a key or opening a door or something like that. So we're looking for a red door. Back here again. Um, I imagine to some people, ah, red door. Um, the and there's the blue key. That was a bit underwhelming. Um, the the bob and sway of when you move in this game. I imagine it, it can be quite off-putting. Maybe some motion sickness inducing. Uh, personally, it doesn't do anything to me, but I think my wife would find it quite difficult to watch this. Um, I hope you guys haven't had too many issues. Where was that? Oh, I don't 
remember. Um, I bet you guys are watching this screaming at the screen. You know exactly where I need to go. I can't remember where I saw it. I'm just, I'm just going around in circles, aren't I? Ah. This Doom though. I knew I knew as soon as I started this level I was gonna have issues. Because the layout to me is like quite confusing. I'm just going running around in circles. This must be so shit to watch. Right, okay, there's some enemies. Looks like a monster closet situation. Yep. Ah! Boodle. Let's get ready. I feel like we're gonna face something. As this is the last level of the episode. Let's just let's use a little bit of the chain gun. Why not? Mix it up a bit. I do love my shotgun, but One thing, um haven't haven't faced a cacodemon yet. In the entire first episode of uh, Doom, you know, such an iconic enemy, I kind of feel like you would have seen it by now. Boots down there. Clearly, I open something with that switch. And... Oh, okay. No big boss fight. The exit. A teensy bit underwhelming. Oh, maybe that wasn't the last level. I thought that was the last level. Oh well. Bring on some more. Whoa! I remember this bit. Yeah, that was cool. Watching all those barrels go up. That's badass. Get down there. Probably a little advised, but they're not that scary, Pinky Demons. They're actually quite easy to handle, even in large numbers. Something's coming. I feel it. Here's, a... Here's an incredible amount of health, which would imply something is on the horizon. Pinky Demon? So if you say had died, it's giving you some weapon pickups here, uh, like the chain gun, loads of shells, surely we have a boss fight of some kind coming up here. Oh, long corridor to a switch, what's it gonna be? Let's get ready. Oh, that would be a Baron of Hell. Two Barons of Hell. Um, is, the is the red floor hurting me? No, it's not lava. Stay away from that person. Oh, let your rockets! Rockets! This is a good area for rockets. Splash damage should be minimally dangerous here. Man, these guys take a pummel. Rockets do a crap ton of damage in this game. Oh, they're scary. They are scary. Oh, yeah, but they're dead. <laughs> Check out this. It's all opening up. So cool. Damn. What an awesome level design. Look at that, look at their sprites for their bodies. So goddamn awesome. Keep feeling like I'm gonna get jumped by something else now. Careful not to fall off, though I don't think that matters probably. What have we got here? The invisible! Well, could've used that before. Oh well. Well, that's clearly why I have to go. About 10 minutes left on this video, so let's see what happens. Okay, kind of thought that was going to go down rather than up. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! 
Once you beat the big badasses and clean out the moon base, you're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward and ticket home? What the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. It stinks like rotten meat, but looks like the lost Demos base looks like you're stuck on the shores of hell. The only way out is through to continue the doom. Credits! Oh! More credits, like with music. Let's listen. <laughs> These are cool. Oh, there's some cacodemons. Sadly, you didn't get them in my gameplay, but there are some pictures of these strangely kind of dioramas. I don't know how to describe this. It's a bit weird. Yeah, it's cool, though. Credits for the porthouse and stuff. I like this. Cool way of doing them. Yep. Just killed those. I rock. God, I love that music. Oh, let's have it again, but this time with conventional credits. Yeah. Shoo. Let's let's go on to the shores of hell for eight minutes. See how far we get. Teleporter. I feel massively underpowered now. Okay. Monsters. Guess I'm going through that. Oh, okay. Good. Good shotgun. Oh, Christ. Whoa. I didn't die once doing that, did I? That first episode. Quite happy about that. Music, my god, this music, I love it. I love it! Switch. That, another switch. Oh, that made that like a moat. Oh, it made the other box disappear. Okay. I don't want to go back, do I? So where am I? Be through here then. Monkeys. Switch. Switch. Teleporter. Oh, hello. Now this is a bit. Oops. This is a bit more um, concerning because in a tight area like this, these guys are actually quite threatening. Oh, and we have impact on the back there as well. Hmm. That teleport disappeared. Red door, don't have red key yet. Blue door, I do have a blue key. So those guys did me some damage there. Down to a ah, Cacodemon! Yay! We got to fight one. I love these guys so much. Wow, I killed him surprisingly well, easily. Thought he'd take a bit more of a fight there. Kaki. Disappointing. Um, oh, okay. Oh, exit. Alright then. Yeah, not gonna trick me with that one again.
Uh, we're down to about five minutes left. So while I poke around this really maze-like level here for you, boxes, packing warehouse for the Mars base, I guess. Um, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching this video. It's been the first hour with Doom 93. My intention will be come back and do Doom 2, Doom 3, Doom 2016, all before we Doom Eternal comes out. And I might even do the first hour with Doom Eternal, because that would be quite a nice um, continuation of the of the series. Uh, we'll look at the timings for this. I try and want to do one of these videos once a week. It might... Oh! Ah, that's my first death. I was talking to you too much and not paying attention. That's my excuse. Ouch. Right, so from the beginning with the pistol. There's a shotgun there though. Let me get that. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're about to wrap this up anyway. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so that's my intention. Um, I do these videos once a week. I need to look at the calendar and how long we actually have before Doom Eternal comes out. I haven't planned it that well. It might be that there's not actually enough weeks to do it. In that case, I might try and bring this out quicker or space them out or something. I, I really don't know. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane though. Get, get excited for the new Doom. I'm certainly super, super excited to be playing that. Uh, I can't wait for, I think it's March 20th. Um, I'm going to do that for the entire weekend. I'm going to try and beat that game in like as close to one sitting as possible, I think. Um, but yeah, this has been really fun. It's been really fun. I still remember my doom, basically. Oh, Berserk! Berserk. Problem with Berserk is it kind of makes you be more aggressive than you should be and end up getting yourself killed. That's what happens with me. So yeah, I've been Ben, as always. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at D-I-Y-E. You can follow uh, Experience Kills at Experience Kills on Twitter. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. That'd be really helpful and like the videos. Uh, we've got stuff coming out all the time. There's some stuff in the works, which is uh, really cool for Experience Kills in general. Um, and yeah, we'll be back this week with more stuff. Um, I think we've got, well, at the time of recording, I should say, because that'd be confusing because you could have watched this at any time. But we've got a couple of videos um, that are coming soon. And uh, like I said, yeah, running up to Doom Eternal here, guys. It's exciting stuff. So I'm just going to kind of like play out the last couple of minutes here with 5% health and I've run out of bullets. So <laughs> I'm dead again. This is not great. I did the entire first episode without dying once, and here on level two of the second episode, I've now died twice. Because I'm talking to you guys. It's quite hard to stream sometimes. <laughs> oh dear. Let's put a cheats on. Should we put some cheats on? Or we'll save on my achievements. I don't. Okay. Let's do it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Did I not? There we go. Give myself all the guns. BFG. <laughs> See, I was telling you about the cheat mode earlier on, and yeah, you can just give yourself everything and be deadly. I like my plasma, plasma killing awesomeness too much. So I will be back soon. I hope you've enjoyed this. BFG, BFG. I shot myself with BFG. Bye bye imps and bye bye everyone else. Chainsaw! Oh, that's chainsaw. It's even better in Doom 2016, though, isn't it? Oh, red key. Bye!